was the whole month of June yeah, you just did. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Um, holiday Looking theme. like a group of lions over there. Mm-hmm. So the first me- member of my squad... <laughs> <laughs> The first member of my squad, well, it's St. Patrick's Day, brother. So okay. I'd be damned if it ain't Patrick's gay brother, Jackson Mahomes, oh. as the dr- <laughs> the drummer boy role. Um, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Jackson Mahomes. They probably um, think he's cool. <laughs> and England. no, they would not. Uh, they would not. He, no, but they're very homophobic. He would oh, be true, the drummer, yeah. but strictly from an... I'm just like I, like thinking tactical here, from an uh, intimidation standpoint. He is six foot six. That's true. Black, and <laughs> they don't, they imagine if a 1910s like British general scared. like saw a six foot six black kid shaking his ass to a Kesha ballad. <laughs> like they would, <laughs> they would combust like a hay pile. Like, they, <laughs> like that was just collapsing. Like they would tears. not know what to, they would. Yeah, it would be game. It would be a rap. Uh. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh uh, yeah, what else did I have? You take on the <laughs> drummer bowl. Where you're, oh, oh. Um, Patrick or Jackson Mahomes is a genetic anomaly. He has this. <laughs> he has the same genes as NFL stars and Jeffrey stars. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he uh, <laughs> like a. Uh, like a, a women's cut. I follow uh, you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's the same. Genius. Imagine if Jackson Mahomes was a prisoner of war in a British camp. Um, they would torture him, and he would get a boner. Uh, <laughs> and then they would, yeah. they would yeah. ask him, "Are you Randy Jackson?" <laughs> and he would say, uh, "That's going to be a no from me, dog." Uh, <laughs> But they wouldn't believe him because he would still be hard while they were whipping him and torturing him in the war camps. Uh, yeah. The chiefs. <laughs> this isn't holiday themed at all. Uh, <laughs> Randy Jackson is something. And how about this guy? He's always on. He's always on the fields during his brother's games, doing dances, and they're obnoxious. <laughs> the Chiefs giving him sideline passes is the worst thing KC has ever done to a family member. <laughs> oh, are you, are you doing? Are you doing a roast? He right is. Now? He's so. Uh, <laughs> this guy is so obnoxious. <laughs> him dancing and doing TikToks is worse than a woman who killed her baby. Mm. <laughs> Which brings me to my second team member. Uh, <laughs> this is um, speaking of never step- stepping on a football field again <laughs> due to your poor decisions, uh, the next member of my crew is Patrick Tillman. Um, the late oh, Patrick no. Tillman, uh, he is the ultimate glue guy. He'd literally take a bullet for his teammates and from his teammates. Um, I'm talking about friendly fire, which he wouldn't have to worry about if he was fighting for Irish independence because the only friendly fire in Ireland is girls' vaginas. And pussy hair. <laughs> um, but we all know Pat Tillman's been a sucker for Bush since 9 11. <laughs> uh, 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 why are And how. And why. And you might think he was a football star making millions, maybe. Uh, why would he leave that for next to no pay? Uh, that's the owner of the Arizona Cardinals, Bill Billwell. Um, <laughs> he was a frugal motherfucker, I'll tell you that much. Uh, maybe if he would have paid his cards right, Pat Tillman would still be alive right now. He wasn't offering Mr. Tillman enough money to be on the team. So he went to the U.S. Army. Uh, you can't deny his athleticism. <laughs> So, <laughs> but 
I know you're thinking he wasn't that great of an athlete. He was only the 260-something pick of the NFL draft. So, yeah, his career got off to a rocky start, but it also ended. It also... His... his it was a rocky start to his career, but... Uh, it was an Iraqi end to it as well, <laughs> because he died in Iraq, uh, on the soils of Iraq, uh, by his own his own this fellow is, soldier, yeah. um, t- Patrick Tillman. Pat Tillman. <laughs> Pat Tillman. You can't, uh, you can't roast Patrick Tillman. <laughs> the original roast of Tillman was in 2004. The um, roast of Patrick Tillman. <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Pat Tillman. Uh, <laughs> He didn't have the best of luck with bullets. Um, but conversely, the next member of my crew, well, folks, some might say he's the number one with a bullet. And that's obviously Fallout Boy frontman Patrick Stump. Um, Patrick Stump. Um, oh, God damn, Kyle. Yeah, pa- Patrick. <laughs> this is when I stopped thinking of jokes. But Patrick Stump, uh, <laughs> he uh, he might be like the only r- successful and incredible rock star that I think I could like steal a girl from. <laughs> <laughs> he he just looks whack. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I looked at yeah. his Wikipedia page, and his birth name was Patrick Stump. <laughs> Stump, and he, uh, which isn't a lead up to a joke. I just thought that was interesting. That well, he, yeah, he changed his name, but he didn't change it away from Stump. It was like, pa- he went from I mean, Patrick Stump. He went to anything Stump. else. He changed it anyway. Patrick Stump. Stump is like a horrible Stump last sounds name. terrible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Stump's not particularly oh good either. I mean, mm-hmm. he could have, if he cha- was changing his name anyway, why didn't he make it something yeah. else? I don't know what it would be, though. He dropped the H like he started Suboxin. Uh, <laughs> so that's Pat, oh. Patrick Stump. Um, I, would just want, I would just want to hang out with Patrick Stump. Yeah, yeah that would rule. Because like every girl knows sugar we're going down and they're going to build it out. Mm-hmm. And he's the number one bullet. He's the number one with the bullet. If there was any nukes, he'd be the best fallout boy you could possibly want. That's exactly movie. right. Mm-hmm. It all works out, uh, I think. Was it Fall so Out Boy that had the video with the the guy dressed like a deer getting hit by? Car? Yeah, that that was uh, that was Sugar. We're going yeah, down, sugar video, going right? Down. Yeah. And but I like, never even wait, watched the video. That that video was weird because it was like it was a boy with antlers who like liked this oh, girl. Yeah, I have yeah. watched it. And the dad wouldn't let the boy date the girl because he had antlers. Yeah, which makes sense. But then at the end of the video, at the end of the video, the dad gets hit by a car and you see that he has deer legs. And so that's just like a video about incest. Yeah, kind of. So like that, 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 like that, 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 yeah, kind of. At least a little bit. It is like, I I was on his Wikipedia page and they said one of the tidbits was Stump lost 65 pounds when Fall Out Boy went on hiatus due in part to... Asthma and pre-diabetes, <laughs> with which he was diagnosed. Okay, <laughs> Patrick, are you hungry? Nah, I've been short of breath all day. <laughs> yeah, can't eat, like just a, wheezing yeah. all the time. Dude, dude, finally got a diet inhaler. <laughs> Should join Weezer, actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking, oh my god! God, it, is that that uh, was amazing? You, you need another team member, uh, don't you? Aren't you? Um, yeah, a lot of people forget like who who which which a celebrity <laughs> is synonymous with being a big tough strong uh terminator. Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm glad you guys all knew exactly what I was saying. Yeah. Without even having to say Arnold Schwarzenegger. He has a he has a son. He does. Yeah. He has a 28-year-old son. Do you guys know who it is? Patrick, Patrick Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Okay, Patrick Schwarzenegger. I didn't know anything about the son. He has two. He has the other one too, right? Yeah, I. I don't. Like, did you guys know about this guy? <laughs> he doesn't no. seem like he'd be the son of Arnold Schwarzenegger. He kind of looks like uh, 
I don't know, dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he looks like a little bitch, kind of. Yeah, agreed. But he has Arnold's jeans. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm done with the, that act, but um, yeah. Patrick Wait. Schwarzenegger like mixing in tums with no, I, don't, I chips, did just not know tumming, Patrick Schwarzenegger. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he? Did he date Taylor Swift? He dated Miley Cyrus. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've never heard of this guy. Did you ever see his? He's, his son is it he's a song? much worse version of Chet Hanks. He was like a USC dropout. He, he was in Lambda Chi. He tried to be an actor. He was in Bench Warmers, Warmers? as a kid. That failed. He modeled for Ralph Lauren. Hmm. Did you ever see his other son, though? The uh, the illegitimate kid? Ladies and gentlemen, this man, uh, in contrast to his father, never, probably never even touched a weight. This guy is a little, is a little twig. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to be fat. <laughs> wait, 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 what's, what's... His father must have been so disappointed. <laughs> And you know Arnold was addicted to the the weight room. His hands were always calloused. Um, he probably didn't respect his son, who had the sm- smoothest, daintiest hands in the world. Never even touched a weight. He, he probably had him d- carry his groceries for him, and <laughs> you and have the cadence of the Joker, right? Now. This is, no, probably, it's like normal. He probably right had now. to. He's probably he probably made his son jack him off. Because his hands were too calloused and his son hands were too smooth. Ladies and gentlemen, his son was the Arnold Palmer. Uh, he did all of the, the hand tasks for his father, his calloused hands father. That's the uh, um, you're so dumb. What else? Mm. So wait. Why do you oh, want him Patrick fighting? Horton, you- what a what a bloodline this man comes from. We all know about his father, the Terminator, the kindergarten cop. Um, what about his mother? Maria Shriver? Maria yeah. Shriver. And you know who she's related to? The Kennedys. The Kennedys. So he has presidential <laughs> genes, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Why wouldn't you want him on the front lines in your squad? <laughs> That's right. yeah. Fair, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. That's right. God damn. Makes you think. He is funny though. I would like to know more about him. You think he even like what gets if, a pat, like a media pass for the Arnold Classic? <laughs> like, uh, imagine if he showed up, like he would get kicked out. Too skinny. <laughs> too skinny. He'd kick that. He'd go to Bullwinkles, get a blow <laughs> job from a sophomore from Hilliard Darby. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, that's, a, that's a niche one yeah ladies and gentlemen speaking of sloppy head uh oh my he, God, this man was, was related to jfk he was related to <laughs> jfk uh, he was a uh, the, the great nephew of john f kennedy oh what a clinic <laughs> what a clinic <laughs> gentlemen that's patrick schwarzenegger the fourth member of my my patrick's <laughs> 